In 2 Samuel, we read of a young man by the name of Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth suffered severe trauma as a young child. His father and grandfather were killed in battle the same day, and he was paralyzed as a result of being dropped by the servant girl who was fleeing with him to save his life from the enemy. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, Mephibosheth, by then a grown man, gives us a picture of how his childhood trauma had affected his self-esteem. In that passage, he referred to himself as an undeserving dead dog when King David sent for him to give him all the land that had belonged to his grandfather. Like Mephibosheth, our self-concept is negatively impacted when we suffer adverse childhood experiences such as trauma, neglect, abandonment, or abuse. As a result, we hold to such core beliefs as I am worthless, I am unlovable, or I am not good enough. In addition to causing these negative core beliefs, the emotional wounds from adverse childhood experiences also create a void making us feel that something is missing. This sense that something is missing makes us try desperately to fill the void. However, despite our best efforts to fill the void, nothing seems to make a difference because when we are emotionally wounded, we become like a broken container that can never be filled no matter how much you pour into it. Some of us become promiscuous, turning to many lovers to fill the void. But still, this leaves us unsatisfied and feeling unloved. Others become addicted to alcohol or drugs. But after each high, we still feel the ache of the emotional wound. Which reminds us that something remains missing. For others, we try to fill the void with accomplishments such as a higher education. But even after earning that PhD, we still feel empty and just not able to shake that core belief of being stupid. Others become workaholics, make it to the top of their profession and earn all the recognition possible in their profession. However, they still feel empty and can't seem to shake the nagging feeling of not being good enough. Nothing will ever fill the emptiness we feel as a result of being emotionally wounded. The only way to fill the void is to heal the wound that our adverse childhood experiences have created. We heal the wound by, first of all, acknowledging that we have been wounded. Self-defense mechanisms only make the trauma worse over time. Mechanisms such as denial, that never really happened. I may have made it up. Or minimizing, it wasn't that bad. All he did was fondle me once. Or rationalization, it is not that bad. Some people have had worse done to them. Or spiritualizing, it was God's will. These self-defense mechanisms may make us feel better in the moment, but will have devastating consequences on our emotional and physical health over time. After acknowledging that the emotional wound exists, we need to work to heal the wound. Healing the wound may involve writing a letter to your hurt younger self, or if you're a spiritual person, it may involve inviting God to walk with you through the trauma as you revisit all the things you have been trying to block out of your life. Healing the emotional wound may involve writing an unmailed letter of forgiveness to the ones who have hurt you. Healing the pain may also include finding a professional to help you deal with the fear, the shame, and the pain that keep you stuck in the effects of negative childhood experiences. When the wound is healed, we are able to live more balanced lives, have healthy relationships, and are not ruled 
by our addictions and overindulgences. Get help today. A better tomorrow is possible.